everybody welcome back to my channel so today I am showing you my fall vamp look look um, the vamp or goth look is really really in this fall and I thought I would show you mine um, with this look you want to make sure that your lip is the focus of your makeup which is why I did a little bit softer eye makeup today and um, didn't go too crazy with any contouring or highlighting or anything like that. I just want everyone to be looking at the lip. Uh, so let's get started. So I'm just going to start off with my NARS Sheer Matte. This is not the Sheer Glow, it's the Sheer Matte. And this is in the color Medium to Santa Fe. And I'm just going to use my Zoeva Buffing Brush. I actually did not get a pump for this. And I wish I would have because I forgot how difficult these bottles can be getting some product out. Oh, and there we go, a bit too much, but that's okay. And I'm just going to tap this on my skin, on my face. Get over my ears. So I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. I'm using the Sabella Brunette Definition Brow Pencil just because it is my favorite. At least for now, I've had a lot of brow favorites. And I'm just filling in where my brows are quite sparse. Okay, and we're just gonna stop on that one and move to the other one. And that would be why this is one of my favorites, not only because the product is great, but I love this spoolie on the end, so accessible and handy. And this is the part where you have to try to get your brows even, which is so hard for me because mine don't even grow the same way. So this one is much more rounded, whereas this one's more square. So it's a lot easier to make this one more square than it is to make this one more rounded. Then I'm using my MAC palette. This is a palette that I built myself. I'm going to start out with the MAC Vanilla. Looks just like that. And I'm just going to use the MAC 217 uh, blending brush. It's just a nice fluffy brush for getting your eyeshadow all over the lid. We're gonna take this from the lash line all the way up to the brow bone or to the brow actually. I don't know why I said brow bone. Oh, I'm gonna have to do this brow again because I'm messing with it. Okay, and then using, what color is this? Then using MAC All That Glitters, we are going to put this all over our lid, up into the crease. Okay. 
Now, you can see I'm just using the exact same brush to add this in. What's nice about starting with a lighter color is you can continue to build up without having to go through a lot of brushes. And so, and then it makes blending so much easier if you start with a lighter color. So try to go lightest to darkest. It will make your life so much easier. You'll have less brushes to wash and more time in the morning. I like to get it out wing it out a little bit on my brow bone just because I do have slightly hooded eyes so it allows it to protrude out then using MAC cork we're gonna put this through the crease just using that same fluffy brush And we're not doing a dramatic cut crease or anything like that. We're just using it just to soften the all the glitters and add a bit more definition to our eyes. I know I'm not looking directly at the camera and that can drive people crazy. So let me change my mirror this way. And because I was winging out the all the glitters, it's important to wing out the cork too. Okie dokie. Then we are changing up brush brushes and I'm pulling out my MAC 266 brush and using MAC Smut which looks like this and it's not black it's like a deep purpley browny black color and it's really really nice we're going to put this on our angled brush and put it really really close to our lash lines and it creates a really soft definition and you can wing it up if you would like I'm not going to too much but just a tiny tiny bit then we're also going to do it on our bottom lash line Sorry, I'm humming Christmas tunes throughout this video. I'm just really excited about Christmas this year. And someone is calling me, but we're not going to take it. I have a feeling I know who it is. It's just my brother. <laughs> Now using, we're done with my MAC palette, we're just going to use the L'Oreal Shocking Extension Mascara, Telescopic Mascara actually. I always forget, this one you don't want to rub back and forth because it can clump. Charlie, you leave my makeup alone please.
And I just feel like I need a tiny bit more definition in my eyes. So I'm going to use my L'Oreal Voluminous smoldering eyeliner and I'm going to tight line and do my waterline even though I should have done this before my mascara yeah I think that looks a lot better taking MAC Pink Cult Blush. Oops. Looks like that. And I'm just using my Real Techniques blush brush. And we're just going to swirl this on our cheeks. And then using this then using the Sigma F40 large, large angled brush, I'm using the Maybelline Master Highlight by Face Studio Highlighting Bronzer. Oh my gosh, I just realized there's a mirror and a brush for this on the bottom. I never knew that. I always thought, why is this so big? <gasps> That's so cool. Um, this is in number 50 light bronze. And we're just going to swirl this really quickly. When you see people swirl their product powder products and you see them going like this you should actually swirl in both directions just so that you're evenly getting the product on your brush because otherwise you can get really heavy on one side and the other side not have hardly any at all and so you get like really unbalanced makeup so swirl in both directions tap off and And then lightly over the cheekbones just so that we can get some of that highlighter on there. Finally, for the vamp lip part, we are using the NYX SPL 830 in Current or Raisin. And we're going to line our lips. Now, when you line your lips, you can make your lips bigger by going on the outside of your lip or... You can just keep them totally normal. You can change the shape if you want to. I'm just going to follow my normal lip. And it's totally fine if you mess this up because it's lip liner, you can always, always fix it. But it's super important that you use the lip liner. Okay, so now that we got the rough line, we're gonna go in and fill in the entire lip using the lip liner. The reason this step is so important is because what happens when you don't use lip liner is that your lipstick throughout the day when you use these darker colors, more bold colors, and even with really red reds as well, will start to bleed down, kind of feather out around your lips. 
So you want to give it something to really stick to, which is why I did the foundation and then I did the lip liner and filled in the entire lip. Then I am going to be using NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Copenhagen SMLC 20. Looks like this. And it's just a lip gloss. And then we're going to just go over the lip liner. Use the tip of your uh, gloss brush to go along the edges and clean up your edges. We're going to take a concealer and an angled brush. So I'm using the NYX Conceal HD Conceal Photogenic High Definition Mineral Enriched Formulated Without Talic and Parabens. Okay, that's a really long name. And then uh, the Sigma Small Angled Brush. And I'm just going to put some concealer on the back of my palm. And we're just going to go along the edges. Lightly dip your brush in. You don't want a lot. Wipe off the, the excess on another part of your hand. And we're just doing this ever so lightly, super, super light touch. If you find that you get a little bit of the lipstick on your brush, really wipe it good on another part of your palm and get some fresh clean concealer on there again. Louis, be quiet. Last thing you're gonna wanna do is because this is such a dark color, you wanna make sure you're not gonna get it on your lips or on your teeth, I mean. The best way to do that, take your thumb, grip it with your teeth and pull it out and you can see I got a little bit there and that's it. I should not have a problem with any of this getting on my teeth for the rest of the day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know how your vamp lip look comes out and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!